Look at him. <laughs> Get him, Heavy. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt, and we are playing some more Plunder Pirates today, guys. I'm absolutely loving this game. For those of you who've been watching my series on it, you can see that I have, I have actually redesigned my base. Um, welcome to all you new viewers, whether you're from in-game or you just found my videos. I hope that you guys enjoy um, and that you'll subscribe to the channel for some more Plunder Pirates content. But today we've got some exciting news. I actually um, just got the Heavy Gunner, as you guys can see. We're going to go ahead and finish these up for the video uh, and we can go in here and I actually need to train up my heavy gunner guys I can't do it quite yet we just got him let's go and read his info so it says armed with a rapid fire cannon this pirate likes nothing more than laying waste to all around him slow and steady are his watchwords um, and with his high pain threshold he's going to keep going and going until his ammo runs dry so I feel like he's going to be pretty epic we've got two of them trained up uh, from our tavern right now you can see them in there. Look how big they are. Or there's one of them right there. His gun looks pretty freaking sweet. And look at his back. Dude, this guy's awesome. I can't wait to play with him and see how this goes. Um, but we have redesigned the base. For those of you who didn't know, you could do that in here. Look at this. You click on this button in the bottom right, and it brings up this whole uh, editable base layout thing right here. I talked to these guys last time about this um, before it was in play, and they executed exactly uh, what I would have wanted them to do. So great, great job to Madoki on that. Yes, we are fine with our base since we just made it. But we are going to go ahead and plunder, guys. We're going to try and find a base that has a good amount of grog for us after I jump back into the app. And uh, once I find the base, then I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds, all right? All right, guys, so we are definitely going to attack uh, this pirate base. As you can see, his, uh, his main cannon right here is facing the wrong direction so we are going to attack from this side from behind and take it out guys um, I've never used these uh, these heavy gunners before so I'm not too sure what to expect but we are going to go ahead and drop off our uh, juggernauts out here in the back come on guys and uh, we'll go ahead and drop off our heavy gunners on either side like this then we'll go ahead and spread out the rest of our gunners and get them up in here we'll go ahead and drop off one and two witch archers on either side and then drop off our new uh, legendary lady as she runs up in there and they get ready to go to town on this base. Uh, once we get within range it should be pretty epic and we should be able to get up in there and take out uh, everything. I'm not really too worried about that so we're going to go ahead and use her ability as she gets up in here uh, and starts taking stuff out. We do need to watch our witch doctors and make sure that they are in range of our gunners and we got to pick up the gunners if they go down. That's one of my favorite part about uh, the witch doctor ability is you can choose when uh, when to use it so that it can pick up your gunners for you and whatnot. So uh, they are in there. They're doing a good amount of work right now. We don't have anything to pick up. Now we do have a couple things to pick up. So we're going to go ahead and use their ability right there. You can see those skeletons coming out of the ground. Uh, we've gotten a lot of the grog, which is exactly what I needed to upgrade my heavy gunners. Look, you can see her body just laying there. No! All right, we're going to use our gunner's ability. Keep on heading up in here. These mortars are wrecking us. And look at that. All those dancing skeletons right there, guys. We might be able to pick them up. Yes, there's so many dancing skeletons. As long as our witch doctor stays in range, stay in range. No, he's leaving. Oh, the witch doctor left. So we're not going to be able to pick those guys up. But we can pick up this one over here on the left. We're going to go ahead and use their ability again. You can see they're picking up that one as well as these guys right here. Guys, in this game, the skeletons that the Witch Doctor resurrects actually do a good amount of damage. Look, and they have a lot of health. You can see this one right here just going to town. None of our gunners are alive anymore, guys. All we have are the skeletons and some juggernauts. Both of our Witch Doctors are alive. If we can keep them in range of some of these dead uh, troops, and we should be good to go. But it looks like both of them are stacked on top of each other. We really, really need them to come over here, but it doesn't look like they're going to. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use their ability and bring up a couple. Okay, I was about to say, I just missed it. We just brought those guys up from the dead as it was going down. We've gotten the majority of the grog from this base. We've still got a couple of little baby skeletons, and we've got, how many of our jugs do we have? One, two, all right, we've got two juggernauts left. And if they can take out this cannon for us, that is going to be epic. Uh, we do still have those little skeletons. Look at all the skeletons. If our witch doctors had stayed alive just a little bit longer, then we would have absolutely annihilated the base, guys. Um, I'm really loving this game. The graphics are unreal. Like The fact that I can zoom in and turn around while attacking, honestly, is what makes this game stand above others. 
Like, you don't find other games like this where you can attack on a multiplayer level like this and move around what you're attacking. Um, so we're going to continue getting the rest of his gold. It looks like most of it actually is over here in his mines, but we just ran out of time. Thankfully, we were able to get a good amount of grog from that, 289 and 337. I'm fine with that. That was a hard base to take on, but we were able to take it out, guys. Uh, we do have two builders left as well, but let's go ahead and come down here. We'll recruit uh, the same sort of army. We'll bring in two of those heavy gunners again, and we'll get eight of our juggernauts, one, two healers, not healers, witch doctors, and then bring in uh, the rest gunners. We're going to try and come up with some other strategies for you guys as well so that y'all can see those. Let's go ahead and go up in here and train and see uh, how long this is going to take to... Uh, recruit this guy or not to recruit but to upgrade so three hours and he is going to have himself a nice little boost we've got two builders available and we've got a good amount of gold let's see what we can do with some of our cannons let's go ahead and upgrade this one that'll be done in the day guys and do we have any more that are that level no it doesn't look like it so this one's level 11 this one is level 12 this one's level 11 how many level 12 do we have we've got two level 12 the rest level 11 except for this one right here. So why don't we go ahead and upgrade another one of our level... Oh, this one's level 6. I forgot from upgrading my... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. 2 hours and 15 minutes. We got to get that guy up. He is lagging behind. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Why don't we go ahead and check out our sea? Uh, because we did go exploring on that. So we need to check out what happened. Oh, no. We lost. We lost to this guy. We, I didn't I didn't have enough troops whenever I went out searching, so that kind of sucked. But I am probably going to take the army that I just trained up and come down here and take out the ghost ship, guys, because it's pretty epic. And legends speak of a ghostly ship sailing in the seven seas, attacking unsuspecting sailors. If you should ever view it upon the horizon, approach with caution. Mere swords and cannons may not help you there. So that's going to be pretty gnarly to attack it. You can see the reward levels four out of five stars, as is the difficulty level, guys. So that's going to be pretty intense. Um, what else do we have going on? I think that we actually have some troops. Um, no, we don't have anything on our ship, but that's going to be it, guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Make sure that y'all comment down below. I do actually want to go in here and uh, watch that attack that we just did. Uh, brrr, replay and watch it from the cinematic view because I want to see what the... Uh, what's that big gun? I want to see what the heavy gunners look like whenever we come in. for. Oh, nice, the goat. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Oh, he's running. They're leaving. They don't want to have anything to do with this attack. <laughs> There's one of the heavy gunners right there. Now we're on the other side of the base. It'll jump back over, and we will see what's going on with our heavy gunners. Look at them. Oh, they look so freaking cool. Look at his gun. That looks epic. It's like a machine gun. It's so much better than the gunners. Look at him. <laughs> Get him, heavy. Look at his face right there jumping into it. There goes Xing Shai. She's getting wrecked right now. We dropped her uh, We dropped her in a little bit too soon because she is kind of fast. You should drop her in a little bit later. But that's going to be it, guys. I'll leave you here with this epic replay, and then I will see you guys in the next episode. Make sure you leave a like on the video for me and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next episode, all right? Peace.